So to get started, normally from Teams, to keep it simple, I would start by adding members and go to the three dots settings here where you can add appointment types and staff. Adding staff helps you see multiple uh, resources that you have in team members and you can add appointments to each one of them. So if I add, I have an admin account here that I'm going to add. Let's see who else do I have. Uh, let's do actually this other user. So I have now a couple of other team members that I've added. Right, you can make them admins, you can make them guests. The reason this user is a guest, because I know I did not license them, but this one is licensed and is an admin. I can change them to a team member, viewer, or a schedule. So if you have a secretary who is sitting up front and he is scheduling appointments for your team, um, that's for a clinic, I would say then uh, that person could be the scheduler. They don't need to be deleting things. They don't need to uh, attend any of the sessions. They're just scheduling, then you can change it to them. Viewer could be leadership who wants to see it and see all the appointments. A viewer is also a good option to if you are truly running an IT support uh, on-site help desk, let's say, a viewer would be something you can share with end users to see what appointments each member has and how many are scheduled on the IT clinics calendar. So I'm going to keep it to admin. Appointment type, and you can see it gave me the first option, which is an ID, IT consultation, I guess, but then you can add more. You can add the appointment type. So is it... Uh, laptop refresh let's say uh, if you want users to schedule appointment to refresh their laptops then that would be an option which location you want to add your i'm going to say wichita is wichita office uh, have attendees join from a web browser so this one you can say no because it is in the office why would i need to do that but if you keep it then it will always create a themes I believe uh, if, if the settings are by default uh, allowing Teams meetings, then it will create it, but this one will allow them to join the meeting from the web browser. You can add description, you can add bolding, italics, whatever um, formatting you want to the text. Please make sure you bring your old laptop, right? That's kind of important if you're going to refresh a laptop. And then reminders. You can add a reminder 10 minutes before, 15 minutes after, um, and so on. Link a form, <laughs> that's pretty cool, but it's not going to work in this scenario because I don't have it uh, linked uh, or created as part of the group. So I would just save this setting. And, uh, it disappeared because I went back and forth, but that's one way you can add additional appointments to um, your bookings.